hey guys welcome back to my channel and so in today's video i'm gonna be telling you guys how to deal with your co-workers in the medical field so if you're interested in knowing how to deal with co-workers in the medical field what tips you can use then stay tuned if savage bitch be your trap and take over over name another bitch that's called another I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a show. Took off, man. They asking me to slow up. Getting wiser and my money getting older. Oh, I bitch, I ain't even gonna hold it. I need bitch, and I thought that it told, told it. Okay, you guys. So, my name is Denaya. Hi, if you're new, I am a phlebotomist and I work at a hospital. I was also a phlebotomist at the Plasma Center. I was also a dialysis tech in dialysis. And now I'm at a hospital again for phlebotomists. And I also worked at a hospital as a patient care tech, which is there is a patient transporter. So I have like a good little bit experience in the medical field. And I've dealt with so many attitudes, so many personalities. It's ridiculous. So I'm about to give you guys my tips. Even though I did have some little outbursts, I do feel like I have... A bit of an anger problem just a little bit just just a tad bit okay I do I know I do but I'm working on it like I'm really working on it it's been way better than what it was in high school and at the plasma center it's been way better so I'm gonna just let you guys know nurses some nurses not all nurses are lazy so when you're working in the medical field and you want to work with nurses not all of them are lazy some are really good nurses They'll do anything for their patient. They're up and running. They're energized. They're all that. But then some nurses, like at my job, play heads up, talk about who's better, Beyonce or Sierra. Um, ignore their patients or cut off their patients. Call Bell. To deal with these, you just want to ignore them. Ignore them. Just ignore them. If a patient needs something, tell the nurse. If she be like, okay, I got it, or has an attitude, just ignore her. But if there, if it's an emergency to where a patient is neglected, I would say report it because you wouldn't want that being your family member. You wouldn't want that being your grandmother. You wouldn't want that being your mommy or daddy. You wouldn't want that being your family member. So I would say report it because it was little stuff at the hospitals such as the catheter not being dumped like a person was yelling i have to pee i can't pee i have to pee i have to pee it's full i gotta pee i can't pee because it was full to the, like all the way up like and this person had to pee and that can mess up some that can mess up a lot of stuff within the bladder so i was like um this patient said she has a pee the catheter is full she needs somebody asap Okay, I got it. It continues to sit down and chill. So I reported it because I'm just like, I wouldn't want that being my dad. I wouldn't want that being my grandma. I wouldn't want that being my family member. You, when a person is screaming and asks you for help, you need to get up. And with me, if I would have known, knew, if I would have known how to change the catheter or whatever the case may be, I would have done it. But I don't. Messing with me, piss would have been everywhere. So it's just like, you want to help but you also don't want to hurt while you're trying to help so if you're in a medical field and somebody needs help and you can't help them i would say tell the nurse and if the nurse doesn't want to do anything i would say report that nurse because what else can you do i don't like hearing people cry and begging for help and nobody said i don't like that noise like it makes me upset it makes me um i, I get really i'm really i'm i'm a real emotional real sassy feisty person very emotional and feisty a lot yeah very so it's like a lot of things will get me teary-eyed a lot of things will get me upset and a lot of things will get me mad as well like such as neglecting the patients like how are you gonna call me a phlebotomist saying okay so at one time i came in at 1 p.m once i came in the nurse called me Oh, this patient been bleeding internally since last night and I still never got their lab draws, which was due last night. First of all, so you're telling me last night, this morning, and until now, which is one o'clock, your patient's been bleeding internally and you haven't tried to stuck them or 
nurses haven't tried to stick him or anybody else to stick him, nobody tried to stick him. I was like, okay, well, I'm on my way. I just got in. That's exactly how I said it. Um, so you're telling me that your patient's been bleeding internally since last night and you didn't attempt to stick them? Neither did any other nurse that know how to draw blood. Don't worry about it. I'm on my way. That's that's the cute, nice, nasty that I did right there. Because it's just like, I'm not going to just not get the blood. But it's just like how you let your plate, knowing your patient is bleeding internally and you not draw the blood or have somebody else draw the blood or whatever. Like how, how is that even possible? How? I just don't know how. So you just have to ignore some of the nurses because it's just like, they will get on your nerves. They will pluck your nerves. But not all the nurses are horrible nurses. I've met a lot of good nurses. A lot of good nurses. Like wonderful nurses. So I can't sit here and say all nurses are bad or watch out for all nurses because that's not true. A lot. There's a lot of good nurses. Actually, the good outweighs the bad. But it's just a handful of bad nurses that make you be like, oh, y'all ain't shit. Like which is bad but not all nurses are are like that not all nurses are lazy nasty rude neglectful not all of them are like that so how to deal with nagging co-workers you want to know what i do you see how this hair cover it up like that and then this me typing in my stuff Because you don't want to get fed into their nagging and nag with them. And then next thing you know, your boss or supervisor, it comes up and be like, oh, so I heard you and such and such had a problem about da 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 So I just want to know your input, da 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 Because a lot of coworkers fuss and complain about certain things to each other to the point where eventually somebody's going to go up to the boss or whatever and be like, Oh, well, such and such said this and da 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 Next thing you know, you're in the office. I would just ignore them. That's what I've been doing. The only thing that I've been, who I've been nagging about to, who I've been ranting to is y'all in my vlogs. And that's telling y'all the good, the bad, realistic, all of that stuff. So I would talk to y'all. But to them, I'm just like a quiet person. I don't talk unless they make me mad. Then that's something only time they really see me react i mean of course they see me laugh smile da, 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 da. but if they're like doing stupid stuff like okay so i'm gonna tell you where it's this situation where i handled very very badly you should never do i had received a tube that clotted so the co-worker came up to me and was like hey this tube is clotted mind you he has the tube he has it open which means he has the top the top of the tube where's my tubes he has like the tube and then the top of the tube in this hand blood and then he he has the like this little stick thing and he's mixing he's like see this tube is clotted this tube is clotted he was putting it in my face i said you don't lost your motherfucking mind i said you don't have no gloves on you have an open tube and you're sticking clotted blood on a stick in my face i said you have lost your fucking mind i suggest you get that out my face for we have an even bigger problem now that wasn't a nice nasty that did that was a real nasty because what he did was real nasty how you gonna put a how you how you gonna put clotted blood in my face i could have smacked that out of his hand like for, like how you how you how you even comfortable with doing that without gloves i don't care how long you've been doing it how of an expert you are how you nasty just net he gotta cuss out but don't be like me because you can get depending on where you are what time who's working which boss is there which management which manager is there i could have got fired but nobody was there it was just me and him face to face it could have been bow to bow like what he did was nasty so if i would have got fired he should got some consequences as well because first of all he's dealing with blood with no gloves he put it in my face that's that's a call for ass whooping i'm sorry but don't do that don't 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 do that i should have just walked away but it was just like the audacity but anyways um so to i would just ignore nagging co-workers by putting in the airpod if you can't put in the airpod i would say walk away from the conversation 
be like, okay, I don't want to talk about that. Or I don't feel comfortable talking about that. Or just simply walk away. Like, just walk away. Soon enough, they'll get the picture and they'll notice that they're talking to themselves. And they're going to be like, hmm, I don't have nobody to complain to. Hmm, I don't have nobody to nag to. Hmm, I'm going to just shut up. And they'll just shut up, trust me. Trust me. So how to deal with trainees. Trainees is not a problem for me. Honestly, I like the trainees. I like training. I honestly like training. But the only thing I don't like doing when training is trying to help somebody and they're tell and they're trying to tell you how to do your job but they don't know how to do their job that's why you're training them especially if they call you for help that's what i don't like other than that trainees they don't really aggravate me they don't bother to me they're learning like i was learning still learning so they don't really bother me like them taking a long time or them not able to get all their sticks or them asking questions or them taking a long time on the log. That honestly, that doesn't bother me at all. As long as you try do I mean, by all means, ask questions because you want to ask questions. You don't want to just, oh, I'm asking too many questions. I don't want to ask them this because then you will never know. That's not how you learn. You ask questions. You take your time. That's how you learn. That's how you get your speed up. That's how you be able to eventually get all your sticks. So I don't really have a problem. I don't have a problem with trainees because I was once a trainee. The only reason why I have a problem with my current trainee or a person that I was training was because they used to call me up for sticks. And then when I stuck the person, they'd be like, oh, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. Because da, 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 da. <sighs> you couldn't get it and I got it. It's flowing perfectly fine. Eh. Eh. That's all I had to say. And then I would be like, one time I was like, you want to you wanna take over? Because I thought you needed my help, but it doesn't seem like you need my help because you, you're, you're training me right now. So you still need me to... No? Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Let me finish what I'm doing. Nice, nasty. Kind of more nasty than nice, but it's just like, it is what it is. Um, That's the only problem I had. Other than that, I love, my, I love the trainees. I love the new people. I like helping people i like getting people to learn i like um sharing information that i know i like it i mean i'm not a know-it-all but i know a little bit of stuff sometimes they teach me stuff that they learned in school that i didn't learn in school or that i didn't do in school whatever like it's it's different um so trainees nurses complaining whining co-workers what else is there to talk about i would say in all in general i would say to deal with your co-workers is treat them how you would want to be treated with respect but if somebody comes off at you i would say either pull them to the side and be like hey let's talk about the situation that happened um i felt uncomfortable i don't like how you did this or i don't like how you did that i would say try to talk it out um instead of keeping it in because that's what i do i have a problem with talking to people and i feel like that was just because something that i had a problem with growing up my parents it was something personal but i have a problem talking to people but i feel like talking really like settles the frustration other than not talking to a person when you're frustrated like hey i don't like how you did this or i don't like how you talked to me about this or i don't or I don't feel comfortable with you complaining around me. Blah, blah, blah. Just try to express how you feel without being loud and demanding. Just like pull them to the side. I wouldn't say address them in front of everybody. I would definitely say pull them to the side because if you dress in front of everybody, boy, 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 that's a problem. They're going to feel threatened. They don't feel like you're coming at them. And it's going to be a whole other problem. I would say if you have a problem with a co-worker, just put them to the side, talk about it, boom, squash it. Because at the end of the day, you are going to have to work with them. Now, me, I do things differently. I will say the bare minimum. Yeah, okay, I got this. All right, I'm going to the floor. Oh, you done? Okay, so which floors you want me to take? Okay, I say the bare minimum. You don't have to be friends with them. You don't have to 
go out to eat with them you don't have to have sleepovers with them you just do you just do what you came there to do which is your job but i would not be rude to them um i do snap back when i have to but don't go overboard especially if you want to keep your job because sometimes i went overboard like twice no yeah twice two jobs i went overboard my first hospital job and dialysis and that's my mistakes and honestly those jobs i did not want to do at all like I did not want to do at all like I, I didn't want to do them anymore like I just didn't now phlebotomy is something I always loved um the only reason why I'm trying to get out, out of this job now is because she's changing my shifts which is changing my pay which is means I'm not gonna be making shit so I am looking for a different job now but other than that I love the job I love pushing my cart I love going room to room by myself I love just sticking and going sticking and going like it's an easy job I love the job I would deal with the co-workers if I was still getting the same pay but now that she's trying to move me to day shifts less money no differential three dollar differential pay yeah i want to go like i want to find something better so i'm gonna keep bettering myself um so with that being said if you do have a problem with your supervisor or your manager i would say talk to them about the problems um if you can't talk to them or if they're rude and nasty to you i would say go above them and if that doesn't work go to hr and then, 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 then. go up the ladder if you have a problem go up the ladder talk to your supervisor if she's nasty or whatever talk to a person above her if it doesn't work, talk to the person above them. I would say go up the chain of the command. Because if you just go straight to the command, then they're going to be like, well, did you do this, 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 this? And you didn't do it. So it looks like you're just, you know, telling the tale, basically. So you want to make sure you are going by the chain of command when you have a problem with a supervisor or whatever. Or if you have a problem with a coworker and you want to tell the supervisor and the supervisor not doing that to resolve the problem and you feel threatened or whatever. I would say go up that chain of command just so you can say you're behind if something happens or if, you know, anything goes down or anything like that. You want to make sure you go up the chain of command. So that is basically it for this video. Um, complaining, co-workers I ignore, nurses I ignore, rude nurses I ignore as well. But if I see that they are neglecting a patient, I will report them because it's just like, okay, it's not like something like, a patient needs a band-aid and i tell the nurse oh the patient because i don't have we don't carry band-aids in our cart but anyways so say a patient needs a band-aid oh um this patient need a band-aid or um this patient needs some baby wipes or whatever if i'm not going to tell on them if they don't go right away to get them their baby wipes that's something little they have they do have other patients but if they're sitting there then i would I would report them not over no baby wipes not over no band-aid not over no blankets over something like the catheter overfilling and they're not able to pee um over something like um their ivs blowing like if the patient's running his medicine and say hey it hurts right here i need to take this out da da da, -da it's burning da, da 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 that means that iv needs to be taken out and they need to be placed somewhere else i will tell them stuff like that and if they don't do that then there's a problem um patients falling out of the bed uh and if they don't do anything there's a problem or if a patient's having a seizure like one time a patient was having a seizure while i was in a room but the nurses came when i needed them but stuff like that i would tell i wouldn't just tell them the nurse if they didn't give this patient a band-aid or a blanket or whatever when i told them to because they do have other patients something like a band-aid a baby wipe da, 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 something life-threatening or that can harm them is when i would tell their supervisor or if I can't find her supervisor, I would tell my supervisor and she would do what she got to do. But I don't just be going around telling on people, y'all. I really don't. Like, I, I did not have to tell nobody. That I only had to tell somebody one time and that was with the catheter situation because she had, like she didn't care. But other than that, I have not told on anybody, honestly, because everything else was fine. Only thing that I have been mentioning my supervisor about was the call bells being cut off because it's like why are the patient's call bells cutting off like why are you cutting them off don't cut them off they're there for a reason why would you cut them off they can't reach the ones on the wall so why would you cut theirs off because y'all don't come in not saying y'all some of y'all don't come in and check on them every day so why would you cut it off things like that but complaining nurses um supervisor 
everything. I basically covered everything. So if you have any questions, just ask me down in the comment section. If you have any problems with a coworker, tell your supervisor if that doesn't work or if they seem buddy buddy, go above. Just keep going above and then you, you should eventually get somewhere. Um, if you have problems with people, I wouldn't automatically say quit and find another job. I just know how I am and I would stick with this job if she wasn't switching me to day shift. So the drama, the nurses and my pay degrading minus $3 because you switching me to day shift. No, ma'am, I cannot take up. I cannot deal with that at all with my extra three dollars i could but now no i definitely can't now that's why this one y'all seeing me complain more and ranting more because you must you must want my money so i'm ready to go so other than that if you guys have any questions please leave them down in the comment section i'll be posting once a week if not more than once a week we're coming back to back to back to back, to back with these videos you guys so i hope you guys are enjoying the content just like i'm enjoying putting them out and editing for you don't forget to like comment share and subscribe y'all keep your mask on keep your hands washed stay safe stay cautious and i'll see you guys in my next video